Dakota, obviously last year you had the play against Nebraska that clinched the game. Uh, can we expect a special game this year? Um, to be honest, you don't know what to expect. Um, and, and that's not my job. I don't, I don't worry about uh, a close game or a close matchup of any sort. I just worry about doing my job and executing. Um, it's a new year, new season, so that's, that's, that's my main focus. When the pass rush is as good as it was against Northwestern, how easy does that make you? like to do your job yeah of course absolutely as a defensive back it makes you extremely comfortable um, I wouldn't say extremely comfortable but um, just knowing that there you know you have that type of uh, mentality up front you know it's gonna put stress on the quarterback uh, you may make throws that he doesn't want to make you may feel pressured and make um, undecisive decisions which is all the more for us uh, as long as we're communicating and doing fine in the back end I think uh, it just makes the game a you- lot smoother I would say I wouldn't say easier, but smooth. What do you see out of Tanner? Um, he's good. Yes, absolutely. Good quarter. I, I, yeah, I, I feel like he's good. He's a good, good player, um, just like anybody else. To be honest, um, I don't, I don't, I don't focus on guys and hype them up no matter who they are. To be honest, um, it's, it's, we got 11 players. You got 11 players. Who can execute the most? Who can stay the most consistent? That's all I worry about. So. He's a, he's a good player, though. Absolutely, no doubt. Being a trophy game, does that get you hyped up any more than a normal game would? Um, To me, no. I'm not really playing for no uh, – I don't think of it like that. Obviously, I'm, obviously it's cool. Uh, it's, that's nice to have, you know, um, but I'm not playing for that. I'm not playing for no trophy. I'm playing for the guys to the left and the right of me, and I'm, and I'm more concerned about them. So. It's going to be, I mean, I guess that's the benefits of winning the game, obviously, but a win is a win and a loss is a loss. It doesn't really make a difference to me. This game kind of has big implications for perhaps the rest of the division. So in that sense, is it kind of a really crucial game to your season? Um, I think every Big Ten game is, uh, to be honest, especially with our schedule, the way the way it's scheduled out now, like everything is Big Ten, you know now. Um, so I think every, big, uh, every game is important. Everything matters moving forward. Every practice, every Saturday. Um, so, um, yeah, it, it has it has big implications, no doubt. For the Nebraska offense, is there one thing that makes it tick more than the other? Like the rushing attack leads to the passing game. What have you seen from from that offense on tape? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they definitely like to get the they like to uh, establish the running game. Um, and obviously, you got to be aware of play action. They like to take shots. Like to mess with your eyes and play with your eyes and play with your rules. So I think the biggest thing is communicating this week and being on the same page and playing disciplined football. And what do you, what do you see on you know talking about play action? Those wide receivers and, and just uh, what do you see on film from from what you'll from you know, who you'll have to defend on Saturday night? Yeah, they're good. Their receivers got some juice. They got juice. They're, they're, they're pretty good. They're uh, quick. Obviously. Some of them are bigger than others, but they're, they're, they're pretty explosive players. They're, they're good in space. So uh, we're, we're, we're going to have to do our job. You know, we got we got to win our 111s. Whenever we get an opportunity to make a play, we just got to make it. Don, Dante said that you're kind of like one of his big brothers, one of his mentors. How do you feel about how he's been progressing so far this season? Um, Dante is doing well. He's doing well. Uh, he's getting a lot better. He's getting smarter with the game, uh, which is one of the, the biggest things. Is, not being able to physically do it. We all can physically do it, otherwise we wouldn't be here. But it's mentally being able to you know, focus and kind of um, separate mentally. Um, and I think he's doing a good job, doing a really good job, he's progressing each week. Mentoring in general, being one of the upperclassmen, you know, and, and being here for a while and, and being one of the leaders on the team, just how do you take your role as being a mentor here at Wisconsin? Um, I never really looked at it that way. Yeah. I never really looked at it as a mentor. Um, I, I do acknowledge that I do have a leadership role, and I own that. Um, I will own that. I, I have no excuses. Um, um, but obviously, it's important because it's, it's not just for myself, but the program will, will continue to go. And I'm a proud, you know, uh, player, student athlete to even come here. Um, it's a world class education. You get to play the best football in America. So um, it's setting a standard for the guys that's behind us. And, and kind of just showing them the way it should be done moving forward because I'm not going to be here forever. Trell's not going to be here forever. Uh, Nick's not going to be here. DT's not going to be here forever. A lot of important guys aren't going to be here forever, you know. So um, 
it's, it's just important, I think, to kind of establish not just the way for football, but just the way of life, um, kind of how to live and, and separate yourself like that. So. Uh, haven't I seen Scott Nelson, the true freshman <laughs> safety, kind of follow you around? That's I think my little post, post I game yeah. a little bit there. Uh, how did you kind of form that relationship with them? Uh, Scott Nelson, he's, he's a great, he's a tremendous uh, guy. Um, I remember when he was a uh, recruit here, or when he was coming um, on his visits, actually here, and he was actually here for the Nebraska game. So um, I kind of, I kind of knew who he was early on, and he was a safety. And of course, I love you know the DBs, so I'm gonna you know talk to him and everything. And um, and and uh, Scott, he's, he's a guy who has a lot of want to, a lot of want to, and he's, he, he's humble. He's willing to learn. Like he's, he doesn't just—he doesn't desire. He actually is willing to, uh, you know, get better. So, um, and I love that. You know, that's—he reminds me of how I was when I first came in. He's actually better than what I was when I first came in. So, um, it's, it's really cool to see. It's really cool to see. Um, obviously, he's, he's excited to, you know, get better and grow. And I'm kind of trying to help him out with that. So, with Nebraska running a similar style offense to the one this team runs, is that kind of? make preparation a little easier than it would be for a team that maybe runs say, the same spread? Um, no, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that. Um, I kind of yes and, yes and no, because you play teams from week to week and you get used to playing UW versus UW in camp and training season and you kind of get out that mode once you get in the season. So um, I don't look at it like that, to be honest. I look at it as Nebraska. Um, they're a good team, they're a good football team. They got good schemes. Um, but I don't think, you know, it's nothing we can't handle as long as we do our jobs and you know we just stay disciplined and trust each other. So just gotta just gotta play disciplined football. That's it.